Hello, this is Devin with Inner Spark, and I am back for the final installation of my How to Create Whole Being Nourishment series. We have covered the physical body, the emotional body, the mental body, and now today I am sharing the spiritual body. And if you have missed the other three, I highly recommend going back to my blog or YouTube channel to get caught up. And so before I get into it, this four body system that I've been presenting is, as I've mentioned, one of several that are out there and have been presented over humankind's existence. And um, depending on what philosophy you find yourself studying, you might run across as many as 10 or more. And I really like the four body system because I find it to be more easily understood and digestible by many people. And I love when I have my clients come to me with these, these beautiful aha moments and they're engaging in deeper conversations with themselves and finding more, more healing and more zest for life, more purpose. And yes, I find it quite helpful. So that said, moving on to our spiritual body. It's a very subtle place. Okay. Also referred to as the energetic body. So it's very subtle. And I am not talking religion here whatsoever. I am referring to that divine universal life force that flows through and animates all living beings. It's our inner spark. Um, it's that place where we experience a flow state, for example. So where we are so engrossed in what we're doing, we merge with time and space. It's a place of higher wisdom and understanding. It's, to me personally, where I feel the most clear and in alignment with my authentic truth. And so it will look differently for different people, and that's, that's beautiful. However, I think that a universal principle is that communion with our spiritual body can't be forced. It's one of those things, it just is. It's always there and the other crap blocks it. Um, it can most easily be achieved when there's harmony and integration among the other bodies because this then offers that silence and stillness that is required to hear what's always there, which is our spiritual body. It's not fear-based or fear-driven like the mental body can be. And so what do I mean by that? These messages and thoughts and stories that the mental body likes to feed us are really rooted in fear. And if you did the little exercise I shared with you on the last video, you probably started to unwind that. That fear response triggers the emotional response, which then triggers the physical response like I shared. And that could be something as simple as shallower breathing or that like stress posture that we find ourselves in. Um, and then we're like, oh God, how long was I wearing my shoulders as earrings? Like, oh, there we go. Um, so yes, when these levels are, are co-creating, that deep silence and stillness is more accessible. So how is this achieved and why do we want this? We want this because this place, our intuition, our soul's voice, whatever you want to call it, holds the keys to our purpose and our fulfillment. It holds the answers to our problems. It is achieved differently for different people. I do feel, however, that daily communion with this place is necessary, totally necessary. And that may look like a daily meditation practice. It may look like some breath work daily. It could be a daily walk in nature or even just getting outside, which I feel for so many in our society nowadays is lacking. We spend so much time indoors or in front of a screen. So just being outside and reconnecting and this radical new thing called earthing that everyone's into, it's not new. It go bare feet on the ground. I mean, that's what we did for thousands of years. That's a beautiful practice to reconnect. So I'm curious, how do you nourish your spiritual body? What does it feel like for you? And what are some practices that you engage in daily to keep that connection, to keep all four bodies fully integrated and co-creating instead of fighting against each other so that you can experience 
deep vitality and nourishment. Please share with me and I will see you on the next video.